Knife Expert reacts to CSGO Knife. It already has like great 200k views. <laughs> Bro, let's see. <laughs> Oi, bravo. Hardening would push its value up. This, this is insane. I gotta make you louder, buddy. Gotta make you louder. Is he talking about blue gems? Oh, sheesh. Bro, don't, 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 don't disrespect blue gems, alright? Else I skip. The color case hardening would push its value up. This, this is insanity. Well, well, how are you going to get your thumb over that to use that jimping? Hello, my name's Kevin Cashin. I am a master bladesmith of the American Bladesmith Society. I've been making blades, swords, knives, and other things my whole life in the traditional manner. And today, I've been asked to do a review of a video game that I'm not familiar with, CS, and the knives that are used in that game, and compare their shape and style to their real-world counterparts, and uh, my experience that I have with those. So I- uh, Oh my, I, I, I hate, I hate companies that sell CSGO knives, and they make the Fade look like this. <sighs> so I the fucking guess rainbow colors. Where, where, where are these colors coming from? That is not a fade. There's a line that's appropriate to say here. Now let's gear up because we are not going on a windy walk here. Before that windy walk, let's talk about today's sponsor, Skin Baron. Ah. Skin Baron is a trust. Exclamation mark. D market. <laughs> Three percent fee. Instead of double digits fee, it is what it is. Yeah, using the link exclamation mark D market sponsor that I had the one and only sponsor trying to stay away from every fucking uh, uh, case opening side sponsor and so on. D market, ma boys, three percent fee, bank transfer, cash out, PayPal cash out, crypto cash out. If you want to buy skins, if you want to sell skins, you already know. I've never heard the term skeleton knife, but I, I, I understand what they're saying and I understand what they're getting at with this. This could very easily be stamped out, water jetted out of sheet and then decorated up and sharpened and sold. So a very quick and inexpensive manufacturing process. Yeah, I think the idea behind skeleton knife here is skeleton in that you're removing meat and you're down to a skeletal effect. The large hole where the guard would be is almost essential. If you were to use this as a thrusting weapon, which you very well could, there's there's no real cross guard to keep the hand from sliding forward in the thrust, which that's a very critical concern, except that hole. That hole allows... Oh, bro, the editor, I think the, the owner of this channel really is into skins, bro. That is a very nice pattern skeleton knife fucking uh, crimson web. Centered web. Wow. An added grip. I would hesitate to do it, but a finger could even go into that hole to increase the grip on the knife. I was trying to determine if that's black, thin black leather or just black electrical tape on the handle. If it's that thin, just texture the metal itself and smooth the edges and it would actually be more functional. There are it's it's black leather. I have a skeleton knife. It's black leather. It feels it feels a little bit more stiff, but it is black leather. There are holes drilled out underneath our handle wrap as well. That's a good place to lower the weight and is, is very typical on full tang knives like this. I understand what they're saying about hydro dipped or hydrographic. Yeah, you'd have to really have it together to get the spider web pattern, but it wouldn't be a durable finish. What I would do if I was doing that pattern, I would Yikes. look into some sort of powder coat because it would it, be much more durable. Real world accuracy and style. I mean, everything here is possible in the real world, except the, I mean, the finish, I don't like the description. I don't, I don't think anybody that was actually selling a knife would do a finish that way. I'm going to back that off. I'm going to take this down to, I'm going to give it about a seven. And something that can be quickly Fair. stamped out. 2000 Okay. But I overbid, so I don't get the showcase. So, all right. Oh, ha. Wait, how does he guess 2000 That's pretty fucking good. Deploying flashbang. Wait, no, they're on no. our server, I just realized. What? Russian N. We got Lake server and Mustang server. Oh, no, <laughs> we're doing sneaky, beaky like. These are interesting. These are push daggers. Now we've been talking about- Hey bro, the literally on our server. Yo, this guy. Okay. We're gonna necessarily stay on. This is a more durable finish. <laughs> it does add <laughs> to now the- Now what's that? Xmash server, bro. If you want to check out fucking skins, like this guy. Function of the piece and does add to the appeal. And if somebody actually got a look like this out of color case hardening, uh, you know, kudos to them. Yeah, a color case hardening oh. was very common on firearms in the 19th century. Ooh. Early 20th century. Oh my God. Century. The description that you've provided, I'm really surprised as accurate as that description is. It does involve an enclosed case 
that's filled with carbon bearing material like charcoal so that the metal absorbs the carbon from that material into the surface when it's heated at a very high temperature. At that temperature, the steel would start absorbing carbon. So I'm assuming it was easier to stamp these out of a softer steel that didn't have much carbon. That canister is then opened while hot and these blades are quenched into a solution that will react oh. with the case hardening. Bro, that looks like fucking in game. That looks one to one. Holy. The case hardening and give you these gorgeous colors that are present. I don't have too much criticism, actually, of the blades. You have these extensions at the base of the blade, just in front of where the fingers would rest. They're giving added um, surface area to keep the fingers from sliding up on the blade. This is so much the lugs that you would have on an old, like, European boar spear. You Yikes. don't want in a thrust weapon to bury your weapon and not be able to pull it back out. Moving back, this push dagger would kind of hurt to use. You really push want- dagger? Habibdi, it's butt plugs. Some sort of material where the handle is to widen it out and fill the palm a little bit. This is just a cut out sheet of steel ground with these edges. Your palm is going to be the driving force. And that's going to cut into the hand here rather uncomfortably. And um, just the addition of some soft or some, some smoother material to either side to build up the handle a little bit would give it a lot more thrusting ability. But I understand probably for concealability to put these two together into some sort of a pouch it's probably why it's that way real world accuracy and style i'll give this a solid 10 color case oh, hardening that's ah. awesome uh, if, i would stop and take a second look at these if i saw them on a table at a knife shop oh ha. case harden and joya my man shoot right down the middle and hazard a guess in game 500 dollars. oh he's so good really okay the color case hardening would push its value up. It's it's all about that case hardening. Bro, how is he so aware? What the fuck? Did you just say that blue gems would up the value? Remove any oh, people back in the day didn't even like uh, make that conclusion. Back in the day, blue gems were like not that desirable. Everybody wanted a fate knife or a slaughter knife. It's us or them. It's, it's kind of like a tiger claw. It's a human tiger claw. I don't like as a heavy a curvature on the blade, but this one for the style and everything, I think it's working. It looks like a rubberized grip. They've put into it a lot of things for ergonomics it's so and comfort sexy. in the hand here. I'm usually not a fan of that because I like a more versatile grip what and not fuck? be locked into one rigid way of holding something. And the, you know, the finger grips, they, they do look comfortable. My, my only concern is it, it just, it's that one grip that you're sort of locked into. So you can see the, the ribbed cutout on the back of the knife just behind the blade for the thumb to actually ride up there for some extra pressure. That's well thought out. The finger loop on this knife actually has a very practical use. An original karambit. They were utilitarian knives, not necessarily. Karambit? Huh? Isn't it pronounced karambit? Kar kar karambit? Karambit? Kar what the? This is a knife specialist. He knows the name. Actually has a very practical use an original karambit they were utilitarian no shot hey owner can you check my karambit fuck off very knives not necessarily nah. weapons it's very handy that you can change the grip without losing the grip because the finger goes through the loop this one however i notice it has a little point on the back and i kind of understand that forward grip where the blade is coming off the top of the hand i can see where this is a tactical addition uh, as a point for, for <laughs> striking with the very back of that I don't <laughs> he's know literally you know. knifing some of my subs and i was over hello <laughs> bro crush anybody's skull but it's really gonna hurt like all get out i was to rate it based on real world accuracy and style i think it has style and it's i love how he doesn't know about the exclamation mark height command we actually made a command so you can hide um everyone to like record or whatever accurate to once again the tactical genre of a factory made knife today but as far as the original karambit i would give it maybe a five six once again I, th I think it's a really interesting knife for people that are into that style virtually how much this is worth um fifty dollars but i've already kind of got a hint that this is going to be a lot more uh wow i started i got to start making things on computer instead of at the forge <laughs> Oh, classic knife. It's going to be interesting. Many of my friends make things like this. It's 
below the center line for me. Bring that point up just a degree or two. When you're holding the knife and you're doing a thrust, the point is a little off the center line and it's a little abrupt for a proper thrust. But uh, it looks like it's a, it's a stout blade for doing that, so I'll give it that. But it's also in the recurve design. Back near the guard, how the blade flares out, gets wider, and it has that point that kind of comes down. And there's this cove or a hollow that's created between that and what I would call the belly of the blade out further. Yeah. This particular knife would always be a little blunter up in that hollow because it's more difficult to sharpen. And, but it does look cool. It looks cool. Another criticism I'd have is the, the forward facing guard. If you look, we have some jimping for the thumb, the, those grooves on the spine of the blade where the thumb can get grip. It's not really practical because it's a double guard in that you have a guard rising above the back of the knife as well. Well, how are you going to get your thumb over that to use that jimping? Now that would be no. Wait, what is it for? To put your thumb on it? To get some better grip of it? Sir. Initially, when I first saw it, I thought uh -huh. the wavy, cloudy design along the edge was what we call hamon. And it's a Japanese term for the, the hardening line down. Hamon. Hamon. Hamon Iberico. On the I've, seen, I've heard that before a Japanese uh, sword or dagger. It's done with clay application during the heat treat in order to harden just that area. If the darker color comes within, say, I would say like a quarter inch of the edge, I start getting very nervous because that Wait, means- we have a zoo server? I forgot about that. Oh, shit. Okay. In the heat treatment, there's parts of that edge it, it didn't harden up high oh, yeah, enough. True. <laughs> and Shit. there are several spots along the edge of this blade where it's close enough that i would say okay that we, we I have think I've a... been on our I've been on our zoo server once zeus got it i like the map a lot okay we need to reheat treat this all in all i mean the, the handle looks like it's really stout with that cross hatching is what we would refer to it's a very coarse checkering and the the checkering would add some grip to the handle um, I kind of like the aesthetics of how it comes together and the way it transitions in the guard. It looks like the handle is out of 10. quite comfortable. Real world accuracy and style. Let's see if I was walking through a knife show where a lot of my colleagues are setting out their wares, I would expect to see something like this. So I'll, I'll give it an eight, but I can't oh. be too harsh because as I say, I see these at knife shows, things similar to this at knife shows in game 2,500. Okay, before I was He's low, good. now I'm a little high. Okay, all right. I'm learning more. Deploying flashbang. How fancy that's as close as I'd like to get. Uh -huh. Fair enough. Actually, I like the profile of the blade. It's not bad for a bayonet. Bayonet being a thrusting weapon, I'd like to see a little more gradual taper to the point for that the thrusting aspects. But it's it's not bad. It's, it actually doesn't look too bad as a, a hand weapon. It, it harkens back to many military knives. It's got that typical K-bar outline of the very classic. Lol. Wait, that's what it's for on the M9? I was not aware military style knives it, it has the fuller it, it makes the blade lighter without sacrificing uh -huh. strength classic for this 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 knife style the way it's <laughs> decorated while that's that that's interesting and it adds appeal to it in hard combat use that finish is not going to stay on there very long at all the shaping of the grip why, bro, um, why are you again, saying how did you not know i never thought about it hello come on man add y'all wait i'll wait jesus mr dima wallhex with the 60 months dima I hope you enjoy the fucking magic, bro. He's in fucking Paris right now. Still alive, two months, Kuss. Production zero. Venom Stalks, 11 months, Kuss Majula. Luca, thank you. Yorkie, thank you. Derpface, Villa, Flare. Was best sell to sell my knife if I don't have access to buffs. Here's Kuflut. I'm also being told, very impressed, but I don't know. Um, exclamation mark, D Market. More cash out options than CSGO Float, if I'm not mistaken, and fees are lower. And volume, I think, maybe higher as well. Depends on the item though. Some stick cut skins, float skins, they will sell better, uh, better on CSGO float. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. Fabiano with the two months. Hancho, thank you. Spooky, thank you. Winster, thank you. I'm a sad cat. The newbie. Ofra, Martin. Kuss for all the subs, guys. Kuss, kuss, kuss. Let's go.
the bayonet so its initial design function isn't necessarily to be used in the hand but it can be quite often i find the grips on bayonets not to be really that user friendly compared to a knife that was designed to be used exclusively in the hand i personally believe any sort of a blade particularly something that you're going you're, you're to be using for a weapon you should be able to with your eyes closed pick it up off a table and know exactly where the edge of that knife is oh, oriented jeepers. just by how it those are legal in germany no jumping knives your hand and when you have a perfect cylinder you can't do that one out of ten accuracy and style the blade yeah, yeah. and the shape and the way it's all put together i'll give this a nine i might even give it a ten this is pretty spot on for a combat bayonet okay, okay. Uh, in game i'm going to bring my number up from learning about the karambit uh <laughs> I, I got a little education there bring my number up a he's bit he's gonna say oh shit he said 50 bucks in the karambit right that makes no sense uh he's gonna say like he's gonna say 2.5k maybe 400 oh hi, bro he's so good he's so good how is he so aware okay I, maybe i'm in the wrong business I... <laughs> easy peasy lemon squeezy wow first when the image comes up on Ooh, um, oh. aesthetically, this one does not appeal to me. <laughs> it, the curvature of the blade makes it really good for slashing blows, but I think it's mostly, mostly I see it as a utilitarian knife. The cuts down the side would be the false edge, and this is what I would refer to as a swedge clip in that it's concave. The way the lines come together up there, it's one of the main things that's turning me off with this blade. This is based uh, off a liner lock design. The back- Ah, no more knife of the blade has a notch that's cut out that rotates around and then a portion of that liner will snap over in behind that little cutout and lock the blade open into position. And then to close the blade, your thumb goes into that crescent shape, that semicircle cut. Your thumb or finger will go into that and push that liner to the side so this blade will fold up again. The bolster, and that's the gray area where the pivot pin that the blade is attached to, it looks like, like a blasted steel, as well as the very tip. These various points coming down, I guess, some sort of finger grip, maybe. They're not really shaped in a way that- It's so ugly. But uh, uh, in game, it's all right. The whole thing, I hate the bottom of it. I hate the bottom or the top. This part right here, I don't like the handle at all, bro. But I, in game, in game, it's uh, the animation is shit as well. But I used to use a blue jump for a long, long, long time. And for a budget knife, it's all right fold up again the bolster and that's the gray area where the pivot pin that the blade is attached to it looks like like a blasted steel as well as the very tip these various points coming down i right. guess I remember people on reddit or like in general the cisco scene people who had a knife a falchion knife case on with only this part blue so the handle they were trying to get like crazy over they were like full blue uh handle <laughs> bro they were asking for like crazy prizes you can't see that all in game some sort of finger grip maybe they're not really shaped in a way that makes sense that it would comfortably grip your fingers that's a pocket retention clip to where you can slide it down into your pocket and not bury it in your pocket we're talking about a game that's based on combat that is a very small delicate one certain metals are very responsive to anodizing and anodizing is you apply an electrical current the metal part is put into a, an electrolytic solution the different levels of electric current will actually cause coloration on the metal titanium Yikes. is very responsive you get very irritated iridescent neon colors off from titanium when you Looks like lightning strike anodize it forgive me anybody that enjoys this knife aesthetically to me this knife's a mess accuracy <laughs> as far as the mechanism pretty spot on as far as being a, a really ugly tactical folder that's spot on too my friends that make these sorry but yeah a lot of you make really ugly tactical folders so this is this is really common in the oh. in the in the knife world as much as I don't like it, I'm going to give it a nine as far as accuracy, accuracy and style yeah. because uh, there's no accounting for taste. Bro, if he now calls it less than the bayonet, the bayonet he said, what, 400? Bro, if he now calls 200, I'll be mind blown. To each his own. In game. From what I've seen of some of these other knives, how about $1,500? <sighs> okay, never mind. <laughs> What? Where's it coming from? Where's that coming from? <laughs>
<laughs> what? Oh my god. Ellen says that's me. Ellen, are you in the video? How do I know? Huh? when you anodize it. Forgive me, anybody is it actually you, Ellen? this knife. Aesthetically, to me, this knife's on Which one? Accuracy. Is this you? The mechanism, pretty Oh, who said it? No, he lies. It was me. So, Juza, it's you? Spot on. As far as being a... a one much is said, it's me. I don't know if it was Ellen or Sajusa. Oh my god. Really? Bro, uh, Sajusa, uh, anybody can equip this agent. Like, you know? It's not just... Um, anybody can have it. Anybody. There's a lot of people with this agent. I'm going to give it a 9 as far as that in-game. From what I've seen of some of these other knives, how about $1,500? <laughs> <laughs> Ah. <laughs> okay. All right. You see, I keep going higher because I've been consistently surprised. Deploying flashbang. Ooh. Airline. Oh, Airline. I really want to know his thoughts here. This is, I mean, this is pretty, pretty accurate, or? Huh? I would say like nine in accuracy, and he's going to say, uh, I don't want to say what he says yet. Put that one behind us. I'm familiar with the original designs out of the Philippines, also known as the Bali song. The blade shape, I'm, I'm not fond of. The cutting what? edge, it's straight, and then it has an abrupt upturn. It, it needs to make up its mind what style of knife it's going to be with what? That as far as the cutting edge. And unfortunately, the point, not very useful for thrusting because of its extreme upturn the way it is. It needs to be more in line with the uh, bones of the hand as it's going into the thrust. Yeah, on the edge bevel itself, for the... Bro, what the fuck? Bro, I'm... Hello? They put the, the Celtic, almost Celtic style knot work. I would hope that that's etched. If it's some sort of a paint or overlay, once again, <laughs> it's not going to last long in heavy use. Put it in a laser engraver, burn it on there, and it's on there for good. And it would look great. Um, and it would be most cost effective, too. I am familiar with how they're used and how they're they're flipped and spun. The and I that? would see the shape of the, the individual handle halves getting in the way of a lot of the functions that I see people using them for. Also, the little finger thing coming down, well, that's a nice addition. To so use as, sexy. As a locked-in tactical style knife, I could see it interfering with the flourishes that people might do with it in their hands. I would put this one real world style and accuracy because of the things that i pointed out maybe around a four what two thousand okay okay yeah i'm having a yeah i'm okay i'm having a hard time i, I gotta separate what i would pay versus what i understand other people that may want it would pay now now he's aware now the last price he will get absolutely right oh bowie knife oh i'm, I'm really excited how he's gonna pronounce it because there's a never-ending discussion right i call it I call it Bowie. No, yeah, boo, boo, wee, boo, wee, the boo, boo, wee knife case on boo, wee. I think that's how it's pronounced. Let's make this right as rain. Cheers, big fella. Hooray! We got Damascus. I mean, that's that's cool. That's nice. And? The point. It's got the recurve design that I talked about before that really doesn't do much for the, the cutting ability of the knife, except it, it would kind of make it miserable to sharpen. Saw teeth on knives have been a controversial topic since the 1980s and John Rambo first appeared in a movie with saw teeth on the back of a knife. Some people think they're great. Some people think they're silly. I if you design the knife really well as a chopper, I gotta wonder why you got saw teeth on the back of a knife because you can with a single swipe cut through a pretty good size sapling these aren't effective saw teeth that is a classic s style guard the very sharp angular nature to it is a little more to the modern tactical taste the top extension of the guard is going forward as a blade catcher and the bottom comes back around to protect the front knuckles it's a very stout guard it's uh it's going to take a lot of abuse but it's also going to add to the weight of the knife significantly. It is a, a full tank, which means you know, you'd be able to see the tang on top and bottom. That could add to some durability. The pommel on the back appears to be riveted onto the tang. It's got a little extension coming down so that this thing can be used in a heavy chopping or slashing blow and not have it move forward out of the hand. That's a legitimate design feature. It looks like it's built very solidly. I will give it that. Basing it on the real world accuracy and yeah. style. I'm going to give it a five, but I'm sad to say that looking at this and knowing how much Bro, I he didn't say the name once okay let's see the price i'm gonna give it a five but i'm sad to say that looking at this and knowing how much i would pay in real life three hundred dollars
<laughs> okay. Okay. Bro, nice video. Sword expert reacts to Destiny 2 swords. Lul, he does all kind of things. Interesting. Very nice video. Very nice video. Thank you for linking that. I think it was Ellen. Thank you. And everybody else who linked it. Um, Mods, did you check the Discord? Mm, also leave him uh, 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 some love, of course. Boom, boom, boom. Quick little like, quick little sub. Ah, boom. Okay. Um,